in Middletown, Delaware, a giant skull grins at you from a cornfield, and you know you found it. 1,700 acres dedicated to all things dark and evil. Frightland. So everybody in Delaware knows Frightland. It's like what you would expect in a horror movie, like people jumping out at you. People love Frightland. I mean, it's amazing. We've had people come up from Georgia just to come to Frightland. I've seen a really big person that you would not think would be scared drunk. It's all just bloody fun. Frightland started about 12 years ago with some friends of mine on a whim. We had this old barn out here, and we decided one year just to try to do some charitable work and have a little haunted house and uh, maybe make a contribution to a local charity. The group's mission came into sharper focus when the Ferrara's daughter, Natalia, was diagnosed with leukemia. Frightland decided to go on with the show and use the proceeds to establish the Leukemia Research Foundation of Delaware. They've given the charitable organization as much as $40,000 per season. Every dime that we raise is going directly to research for blood cancers. Natalia recovered. But it took a while for her to overcome her fear of Frightland. I used to hide in the ticket booth. I'm just really scared. I'm a big baby. The scares are built around the fictional life story of mad doctor Thaddeus Idalia. The story is uh, Thaddeus Idalia lived here years ago. And his daughter hung herself in the barn and it, it just turned to mad. He went crazy and started doing mad experiments on people. Prowling through the park at night puts you face to face with giant animatronics. But the owners believe that the real trick to scaring people is the human element. We don't feel that we can ever replace a live actor. It's that you can't replace it with an animatronic. It's just an in-your-face scare. Frightland's eight attractions employ 140 paid actors whose job it is to scare people any way they can. They'll even reach out from the dark and touch you. You know, I'll creep up behind someone and I'll go on their shoulders or on their head, you know, just move my hands across it, and it gets a pretty good start on because you don't expect it. The actor's day begins just before sunset in the backstage area, where they get their costumes and masks. Megan um, Ridley, right behind me. Then it's on to makeup, which is run as a kind of factory for making monsters. We kind of set them up like an assembly line, send them in one door and out the other. We've got a whole team in here. We just kind of work with each other and kind of do it as we go. Nobody really comes up with a hardcore design. The actors come in one entrance normal and out the other as freaks. Well, over here we've got people getting prosthetics. Then we wait in line and people get airbrushed. And as for me, I skip through all of it and I just go straight to blood. Me, I will be getting sawed in half. Help me! Help! Help me! Those who show up on Frightland's doorstep each year include many who've made this journey through darkness an annual tradition. Yeah, I come here about every single year. My favorite thing was the guy with the chainsaw because uh, he found out that I was most frightened and he's chasing me out the exit. You begin with a visit to haunted Idalia Manor. Please enter. I don't want to go first. Okay, come on. I'm not going first. I'm not. A big part of the experience is anticipation at the shock to come. And don't expect it necessarily to be the one in front who gets it. The first person to get through usually isn't the first person to get scared. You're, they're more likely the first person to get startled. Usually it's actually the middle person that gets scared the most because most people wait for the middle person and then jump out. Oh my God. Leaving Idalia Manor, you'll find the exit much less ceremonious ah. than the entrance. Oh my God, my heart is pounding. <laughs> Reedy Point Penitentiary is next where you'll find the welcome is not the warmest in the world. Go! Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going! I said you don't want to see somebody cry! That's what I'm talking about! Where's my prisoner? The tables get turned, the guards get fried, and you wind up a hostage on a prison brick. Come on, get in the bus car yet, man! I thought you were the one stealing guy in there for stealing cars! Don't you know how to hotwire? We don't have a script. We kind of more or less improv. We usually sit down and have a little meeting every day and try to go about what we want to do this day. Where'd you get your license, man? Got your jackpot! Oh. <laughs> Once you're through that predicament, there awaits another, the Haunted Hayride, which takes you from the world of light to the world of shadows.
where to go. Welcome to Carnival! Everything floats around here. Look at it, Ben! By the time you come through, you're jumping at your own yeah, shadow. Right that I can see him. Very lovable little creatures out there. They get frightening. <laughs> you may think you can stand up to your deepest fears, but a visit to Frightland will be the test for those brave enough to venture out into a land of living nightmares.